Hey there, Allison Eddings with Top Dog Tax and Accounting in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is our January update. I just wanted to give you a little update as to um, what's going on in the tax world and also some updates in our practice and tell you about a uh, fun, awesome, cool little surprise present gift thing that I've gotten for all my clients this year and tell you about that. But let me tell you about some staffing changes. I mean, not huge changes. Everybody knows interns are temporary. So interns from last season, um, I've got a new intern, but our one intern, Veronica, um, in addition to getting married and having a new last name, is now a staff person, but a temporary staff person because she's already, even before her intern, well, I guess during her internship, she accepted a full-time position with Deloitte, which is fantastic. That's where I'm from, too. I'm really excited for her. So she's going to be here with us full-time until the end of tax season when she goes to Deloitte. Um, our intern this season, her name is Chesney, and you can feel free to chat with Veronica Chesney. Chris, of course, you know, would be the answer man on a lot of issues, or Bobby. You feel free to call us, 704-319-5366 if you have questions or issues. And I'm really Really kind of tickled with this little piece of software that we're using this season to share information across the whole company too so that if you call and you talk to say Chesney for instance and say Chesney Allison sent me this this, this email that you, you need some information and I'm not sure what this is she can go in there and see I see Allison sent you an, in, an email asking for um, a mortgage brokerage a brokerage statement and this is what your brokerage statement would look like, and this is where you can find it. So anyway, I'm really tickled, and I hope that's going to be a, a really helpful, useful piece of software that we can all use. But, you know, welcome to Chesney, and also um, Bobby started with us over the summer, I believe, but you might not have had a chance to chat with her. Let's see. Um... Doing your own return this year, let me tell you, if you were, you know, in the past, you have done your own return, great, kudos on you. Some people, you know, even though they might have a simple return, still come to me because they still get that time, that one-on-one -on -one time with me to talk about things like, you know, um, how to pay off their debt faster, which debt should get paid off next, or how to minimize their tax burden in future years, or, you know, other financial planning things. It's can be really wonderful to have um, somebody who shares your worldview talk to you about your financial situation. It's kind of like therapy, you know, that once a, once a year therapy session to just dump it out there and say, these are, this is what we've got going on and we need some other feedback. And so even if ordinarily you might prepare your own return, that is a, a benefit that comes with having me prepare your return for you. But this year, I wouldn't recommend preparing your own return. There's so much going on. There's so many different components. Um, one being, did you realize that that letter you got in the middle of the summer or whenever we got our stimulus payment that said this is the amount of your stimulus payment you're supposed to keep that? I shredded mine. I didn't think it looked particularly important to keep, but apparently we were supposed to all keep that. Every CPA and tax preparer I've talked to has said, I didn't keep it. I figured we'd get, a, get one at the end of the year, beginning of the year, as did probably a lot of you guys. We're hoping the IRS rolls out some kind of a tool so that we can check. You know, they did that in the Obama stimulus, stimulus payment um, where you can check it and see what the amount was. But uh, for right now, we don't have that. And we've got two stimulus payments. And your return, they're saying it may just reject, um, but it's possible that the return would be processed, but then your refund, if you're expecting one, would be held up while they reconcile that number if you don't disclose the proper information. Um, so that's one issue. Another one that's really going to be huge is there's a number of credits, the earned income credit included, that um, because this is all COVID legislation, COVID-related legislation, because financial situations for a lot of people have significantly changed, their allow IRS is allowing Congress has you know made legislation allowing you to take the credit whichever one is better for you whether it's from 2020 or 2019 that's that's unprecedented and kind of wild and I can see that being a difficult thing for a lay person to try and figure out and go okay so what would my my credit have been in this area for this period what would it have been where was it where to find it on my 2019 return to see if it's which one's better and to take advantage of the better opportunity. Um, 
So if for only those two reasons, which pretty much every every taxpayer is going to run into the first situation, most taxpayers are going to run into the second situation where they have credits that they can choose which one to take, the 19 credit or the 20 credit. Um, that's going to make things messy. But also a lot of you had unemployment benefits and don't realize that unemployment benefits are taxable. Let's make sure that the return is done right this year. There's going to be so much that's different this year than in any other year for many of you. Make sure it's done right this year because if it's not, do you know when you're going to find out? Some of you find out really quickly, but a lot of times the return is processed, the refund is granted, and it will take three years before the IRS reconciles things and says, this wasn't reported, that should have been reported, and you get a letter. And you get this letter that says, you didn't report this, it should have been. Um, so eliminate that. Have a professional help you and not just somebody with a computer, but somebody who actually understands the tax code, can explain to you why you're either getting more of a refund or less of a refund, why you're paying more tax or less tax, what's going on in your financial situation. Um, that is one thing apparently that I do that other people don't do. I don't find it terribly strange or unusual. It's a narrative. I can tell you your income went down $15,000 this year. It pushed you into a lower bracket because of that and your reduced withholdings. This is what we expect to see. Aha, this is what we see. And there you go. But um, a lot of people don't do that. So um, let's see. We covered the credits, unemployment. Oh, where did you work from? A lot of you guys, you know, might be working from home, even though your employer is somewhere else. You might normally be withheld from a different state, say New York, and you're working from home now, and you should not be withheld there. You should, you're going to have multi state issues. Um, Another good reason not to try and figure this stuff out yourself because you might have multi-state issues. Um, oh, and I put a little note to say that we don't quite know when IRS is going to be open to accept electronic returns for, for certain things right now. Um, so just a little note. They are accepting the business returns right now, but not individual um, and not for prior year for amendments and, and tardy returns and things like that. Just because they're updating their software, it's a, a fluid date every year. They never quite know when they announce it in the fall and winter, and we still don't know. Um, but now, on to the special gift. Oh, and I guess, you know, it didn't occur to me that this would be a really good year to do it. I just was... Um, doing some research and found a company that partners with my tax software to um, offer audit protection and identity theft protection, basically insurance. And because I got such a great deal, I just decided to buy it for all of my clients. So it's included in the price of your return. Um, and the, even though I know I've told a lot of you guys that you're not at terrible risk for audit, it covers things that aren't even really audits, things that, you know, if there were um, issues with your employer and how they submitted your W-2, say they had to paper file it instead of electronically file it, and there was a mismatch somewhere, or especially with issues this year that are, we're going to run into with the, the uh, stimulus payment, if there's any issues, they'll resolve it for you, and it's included in the price of your return. But the one that I really, the reason I got it was for the identity theft protection, because, and this is, has nothing to do with your tax return. It just is. It's just like, I can offer this to you for um, every, all of my clients electronically file returns for 2020, you get identity theft protection. So literally, if, if somebody tries to go around and pretend that they're you, you get this concierge that's just going to handle it for you. So you don't have to worry about it, which is really kind of delightful because unless you know how somebody's, you know, compromised, you know, if it was Capital One was compromised and they can say it was, you know, our fault or whatever. And so then they might have some but for the most part, if somebody's out there pretending to be you, you're going to have to fight that yourself. But I thought this would be a tremendous blessing and um, a wonderful way to bless my clients this year. So identity theft protection and audit protection is included with every return, every 2020 return that's filed with us this year. So I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you. I'm really excited to work with you again this year um, or to get to meet you if I haven't met you so far. Do keep in mind that we're still doing virtual appointments. 
If you if video conferencing is not your thing, we can do we can do a phone call. That's fine. If you don't feel like updating or uploading your documents to the secure file server, that's fine. You can feel free to drop them off just like you would any other um, tax appointment. Um, just you know, give Chris a call and make arrangements, or you can pop on and um, schedule your appointment whenever you're ready. The number is 704-319-5366. Yeah, that's right. Just had to double check. Um, but have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Take care.